Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems, and today we're going to be showing you how to create your code plug, or basically the list of channels that's going to go in your radio, and how to write that to your radio. So, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is jump into the computer here, and open up a web browser. So after that, uh, you will want to find the repeater or whatever channel you want to talk to. Uh, we, you can set this up for a SkyBridge, or if you want to talk to a local repeater, you'll want to find that information. So the best place to do that is repeaterbook.com. That's a great resource for finding all that information. So we're going to find a local repeater here. Now you can actually save a lot of time doing this. Uh, a couple different options. We have a plug and play package where you get the SkyBridge and the radio all in one, and we do all the setup. So you can just jump on DMR and start, talk, start talking to people around the world right away. We also have a super and ultra code plug uh, that have hundreds of talk groups built in them, into them already. So you can download that into your radio and then use it either with a SkyBridge or a local repeater and it will save you a lot of time that way as well. But if you want to do it yourself, we've got you covered. So once you're there on repeater book, just find your local area. We're in Missouri. And you can filter by all kinds of different things. We're looking for DMR. These are DMR radios. Uh, they will work with analog, so you can talk to analog repeaters, no problems. Uh, but if you want to talk to people outside of your local area, definitely have a look for DMR. So we're going to click on that. Filter by DMR. Now, if you want to filter by a map, like by your location, you can click on map results and map results, and it will actually show you everything on a map. So we can look at it here, find our local area right here near Kansas City, and we're up here in Smithville, so there's a repeater that's pretty close. So we could click on that and then click for more. And because we filter by DMR, these are going to be DMR repeaters. And there we have it. Uh, so this is a local one we usually have pretty good luck hitting. Uh, and so there's going to be some information we need to collect. First up is going to be our uplink and downlink frequencies. Uh, the way I like to explain this is up, uplink, and downlink is going to uh, be represented by the radio and the repeater. So radios typically walk around on the ground, right? They're with us, people on the ground. Now repeater systems usually are up high on a tower. Uh, so I always think of repeater systems being up high, radios being down low. And if you think of it that way, you'll never have trouble understanding the receive and transmit frequencies. So if we're talking about a radio, uplink is going to mean transmit, right? So it's transmitting up to the repeater, or in the radio sense, if we're talking about downlink, that's going to be down to the radio. So uh, either way, if you're programming a repeater or a radio, you can use that same analogy. So we've got these written down. We also will need the color code and the time slot. So we have some information here, time slot one, and then sometimes it's inside of this talk group section. Just click on that, open it up. Uh, looks like we want uh, time slot two for the parrot and some other information there. So write this information down and let's open up the software. So open up the CPS for your radio. Uh, if you haven't already downloaded that, we have another video that will show you how to do that. Now at this point, we are going to plug in our radio. So we'll plug that in there. And we'll plug it in on the radio side. Plug in that programming cable. Make sure your radio is turned on, which ours is. Uh, so we can start adding those channels. There is one more piece of information we will need, which are talk groups. Um, if we're using this for digital, this isn't necessary for analog, you will want to have talk groups. So, uh, let's go to, Brand, just do a Google search, Brandmeister Talk Groups. I've had good luck with this uh, website, uh, pystar.uk for Brandmeister Talk Groups. Uh, and you can basically just do a control F and search for anything you want, any state. So we could look for Missouri. There's a Missouri one. You could search for a different kind of topic, a different country. You can search for just about anything and take those talk groups. Uh, now, for all other things uh, radio related in terms of the digital contact list, uh, we're not going to cover this today because it's not an essential part uh, to your code plug, 
Um, but we will have another video that shows you how radioid.net is going to be the place for all of that information. But today, uh, we're just going to get a very basic functional code plug going. There we go. So we're going to take the Missouri Talk Group and how about the parrot? Uh, there we go. There's the parrot. What about the disconnect? We'll take the disconnect, write that down, and worldwide. How about we do that? You can pick whatever ones you want. I would recommend at least having uh, the disconnect and the parrot in there along with another talk group just so you can test to make sure everything's working and then disconnect from that talk group. There we go. We have our talk groups. So go back over to the programming software. First thing we always want to do, click on this COM port icon. Looks like a radio is there, which it is. Awesome. And that's this button right up here in between the read button and the write button. Next, we're going to click on that read from radio button. Once you're here, just click OK, and we only need to read the other data. Uh, the reason we do this, we always want to read from the radio first before we build anything, because otherwise we can get COM port errors when it's actually time to import that information back into the radio. There we go. We are set. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of information to our radio. So go to the digital tab, and we need to add our radio ID list. This is going to be our own information. So my call sign and my radio ID. Now, if you don't have uh, your radio ID, just go to radioid.net. Uh, they're great folks over there. You'll, they'll help you get set up with one. It's really easy. If you have a call sign, you're good to go. You don't have to take any more tests. It's totally free. Uh, once you're here, um, just go to, if you already have one, you just don't know what it is, go to the database and user search ID. There we go. And type in my call sign here. There we go. And we actually have this tool on our website as well. So if you go to bridgecomsystems.com uh, under the resources tab, you can access this tool here as well. And there we have it. There's my ID. So I've got that written down. You will need that. So we're going to put that info in our radio. Open up this radio ID list. Let's see. So it was 3152688. And then here, typically, I put my uh, first name and call sign. So Cody W3AMG. Click OK. Now let's on to talk groups. So talk groups, uh, looks like we already actually have some information here in the radio. Um, so to create a talk group, just double click on it. And uh, we're going to give it a name. So let's pick another one here. Uh, looks like we already have done most of them. So let's find, let's do Europe. Why not? We'll put that one in there. And that is talk group 92. Give it a name, Europe. Now this call type, it says group call. Most likely you want that to be a group call. Uh, if it's a talk group, you definitely do. Uh, there's going to be a few things you might want to keep that private call. If you're using the parrot, which allows you to talk and it talks back to you, you want to make that private call unless you want everyone else to hear what you're saying. And then if you're talking to someone directly, you can actually up here uh, in, or in the DMR ID field, instead, you don't just have to put a talk group number, you can actually put another user's radio ID in there and talk directly to them. If you're doing that, you also want to make that a private call. So in this case, it's a group call. Uh, 92. There we have it. Awesome. So that's how we add a talk group. Uh, you can import a list of talk groups like those code plugs we offer. They actually come uh, with all kinds of different talk groups. That ultra code plug comes with over 800 different talk groups and they're all organized into zones as well. So it saves you a lot of time importing all this information, uh, but that's how we do it. Now at this point, the digital contact list, if you click on this, uh, you can import a digital contact list. I would recommend doing this. That will basically allow you to see everyone that shows up on your radio. In fact, we're going to do it here real quick. So uh, go to radioid.net. We're going to go to database and data dumps. Once you're there, there's a user CSV right here. Go ahead and click on that. Uh, we'll just download that to our desktop. I'm going to give it a date. Oh, what's today? The 16th. That way I know what it is. There we go. Make sure you save it somewhere you can find it. 
And once you're there, uh, we have that saved to our desktop. What you'll do is basically go to Tool, and then Import. Just click OK. And we want uh, the digital contact list. So there we go. Let's find a digital contact list right here. Uh, now we can find, go to our back out to our desktop. We just saved that. User, there we go. There it is. It's in a CSV format. Click open and then click import. Uh, this will take a few minutes. So the list is pretty big. Uh, it will import all of those contacts. What that allows us to do is when we're talking on the radio, it'll actually display the name and call sign of who, who we're talking to. It's really cool. Awesome, there we go, so it imported. So we're good to go there. A few more changes we wanna make. Uh, we wanna actually add our channels. So go back over the channel. Uh, we could get rid of all of these if we want. We really don't need the preset things that are in here. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could just get rid of these just like this and start from scratch. Uh, you don't have to, I tend to like to clean everything up here. Just the, the, the few channels that comes with it makes it easier that way. Uh, but you certainly don't have to. In fact, you could even start down here if you want. So let's give this a name. Let's do the parrot and the receive frequency. Remember, we've got them written down. That's going to be in the eyes of the radio. Receive is going to be downlink, going down to the radio. So our downlink is 444.4625. And uplink is, or transmit is 449.4625. Then at that point, uh, I'm gonna switch over to turbo power since we are talking to the local repeater. It's a little bit hard to hit from where we're at. So we're gonna do that. Uh, make sure this DMR mode down here is set to repeater if you're talking to a repeater. Uh, otherwise, you'll have some trouble. Awesome, there we go. We're pretty much set. Set your color code. We know we needed color code four. Time slot was time slot one except for everything but the parrot. So we're gonna switch this over for time slot two for the parrot. And then um, the contact, this is where we select our talk group. So parrot, there it is. Uh, and we're good, so just click okay. Now what we can do is actually just copy this, click on it, just do a control C, click down below and control V and it pastes another one. Uh, so that way we can easily just change the name and uh, the talk group. I also wanna change this back over to time slot one. So let's make this one. Missouri. So we can go in here to contact, click on Missouri, there we go, and we're, we're ready. Awesome. Uh, then at that point we could copy this and just paste a few more. Just go down the list, paste these, duplicate them, and then we can just go in and change the names. So Missouri, uh, what else do we have in the contacts? Uh, we can do Europe. There we go. Uh, definitely want to get the disconnect on there. There we go. Awesome. And then uh, obviously you can do as many of these as you want. Uh, we'll put the worldwide talk group on there. There we go. And we are ready to rock and roll now. We have all the essentials uh, to get started, get on the air. Uh, so at this point, we're almost done. A few more things we need to do. First thing I would do, go into your optional settings. There's a few things you wanna change. Go into the power on section and uh, or uh, the work mode section right above it, right there. You'll wanna change this display mode to channel. Looks like I had already done this on the radio. Uh, but it will come set to frequency. You wanna go in there and change that to channel, otherwise you won't actually be able to see the names of anything on your radio. Uh, after that, I like to turn sub-channel off. That's totally optional, but it just makes it a little bit uh, easier to see everything on the radio. Uh, you can customize the radio to be more for yourself if you like. So we could put, let, let's say our name and call sign here. We can just get rid of these and put our own name and call sign just like that. 
Awesome, there we have it. And that will show up. You can even do custom pictures, lots of customization. This will be the time to go through and customize everything. So we've just done a little bit. Uh, one more thing we need to do before we write to the radio, go ahead and click on zone. And we're going to edit our zone. So double click on that. Uh, at this point, we want to add everything that we want on the radio into a zone. We can create different zones for different categories. I like to have a different zone for like local stuff, uh, my sky bridge, uh, all 50 states, NOAA weather channels. I have zones for all kinds of different things. It keeps it organized. And those code plugs we offer, like the Ultra Code Plug, they have all those zones, everything separated out and well organized. So it's really easy to use. So we're just going to throw everything in one zone for now. Just like that, click OK and we're ready to write to the radio. Now, if you don't put it in a zone, you're not going to see it, so keep that in mind. Awesome, make sure your radio is still connected. Click that COM port, it is. And now we can click that button up there to the right of it called Write to Radio. Click OK, and in this case, since we added the digital contact list, go ahead and check that, and then click OK. There we go, awesome, it's finished. So now everything uh, should be copied across to your radio and it's ready to use. So this will get you started. Uh, you can do a lot more with the CPS and the radio, uh, but this will get you on the air with DMR. So we can unplug our radio at this point. We will wait for it to boot up here. There we go, we can see that name and call sign we added. How cool is that? And there you have it. There's the zone one and there's those channels that we added to it. Check it out. So awesome. There we have it.